Hello everyone, Linda AK the Gamer Girl here, and today I first went to Goodwill store to check out and see what I could find. There was a section over there that I have not been to before. It was near 441 and it's in Pembroke Pines. In there, there was a few decent games. I checked out and there was the usual, the karaoke ones, the knockoffs that nobody really wants anymore. And then I kept looking and I go down. I usually do a scan first and see all that there is and then I work my way. And there was a couple DS games on the bottom. So I check and there was Dora. I cracked it open and it looked like somebody has stolen it. So I put that one to the side. I checked again and I saw that there was somewhere underneath there was I Carly and I kept looking and I cracked that one open only to find it was stolen too. So at this point I'm like, ugh, please, I'm trying to find games here, people stop stealing them. And I kept looking and as I'm going through I see that there is a bunch of PS2 games all through the whole sections and so I start looking for more and I'm pulling them out as I'm going and I keep going and as I look down there is a couple PS3 games so I keep looking so I'm gonna start scanning the other side and I scan this side so I'm checking and sure enough there is a couple PS3 games in there too Nothing there, there's just DVDs on that one. And so I pull out the PS3 game to check and see if it's actually a PS3 game or if it's something else. And yep, it was. So I put that back because I don't collect PS3. And there is a Wii, so I'm checking to see if it's actually the Wii game inside. And it is, but it looks like somebody went crazy on that disc. So I put that back and then I keep looking and there's a couple PSP movies so I'm like let me see ooh rock and roll I wanted to get that but I'm sad it was Billy Madison inside and dude where's my car but I just checked it because I saw that one wasn't the correct one so I was like maybe it'll be something that I want and I looked and there was Tiger Woods NASCAR and Hitman so I just checked the discs to see if there was anything else other than what was inside because I've noticed a pattern through these whole selection of games that some of them are actually not what they're saying Xbox 360 Connect, no, nope, don't want that so I let that go and then I checked the games NASCAR, not really interested at all so I put that one back uh, Tiger Woods, I checked yep, it's Tiger Woods so I put that one back Madden uh, not interested in Madden. I've gotten too many Madden games over the time, so I'm only collecting what I want. It was Hitman, so I moved on. And there is the Deer Hunt. So Cabrellas, nope. There is Cabrellas, so I put that back. Who wants to be a millionaire? And yep, it was millionaire, so I put that back. I don't want that one. And yeah, the story times and stuff like that. And then I saw there was another PC game. Uh, Siberia. So I look, I'm excited. First disc is a good one, okay? So I'm like, yay! So I flip it over to the side. And sadness. No disc 2, so I didn't want to take it because I'm not going to look for disc 2 because nobody's really going to have disc 2. So I put that back. And an advertisement for Omega Stone, so. I was like, okay, let me check the other games and see if there's anything else. And, oh, Cake Mania. Let me see if there's anything else in there. I don't want Cake Mania. Uh, yep, it is Cake Mania, so I put that one back. And I go back and I scan through again just to confirm. And I, oh, I missed a game. So I look and it's Desert Storm 2. Please be there, please be there. No. Somebody stole that one and I really did want that game. But I moved on, so I decided to go back to the swap shop. I went to the swap shop and I walked into the main store part and there was Chinese knockoff consoles right when I walked in. And I kept going to the main area where the car museum is. And there was a huge stand full of PS2, PS3, every console you can think of, PSP. 
and I'm looking at all the prices and I'm like, wow, she wants 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars for games that are not worth what they are worth. So I'm checking, I'm looking, everything keeps saying 20, 30, 20, 30, 30, 40. And I'm like, I'm asking her, are you going to go down on the prices? And she says, no. So I just keep looking. I'm like, maybe there's something there that is really worth my time. And I kept going and there was a lot of the games that I already had or didn't want. And yeah, there's a couple of PC games in there. Tower Heist, The Usuals, Nancy Drew. And I kept looking, Jeopardy. I'm like, no, I'm not seeing anything worth my time on this side. So I decided to move over to the other section. And there was a bunch of sealed PSP games. And inside the PSP games, there was a whole bunch of the regular local Rocos, Lord of Arcadia, Buzz, MLB, The Show. And I'm like seeing prices on these and they're twenty dollars or more they're wanting for sealed games that I don't even know if they're really sealed or if they just resealed them but I'm not I'm not gonna pay twenty bucks for a lot of the games that are common and so I move over to the newer section there's Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, PS3 and I'm seeing a lot of the games that I don't want so I'm looking through and same thing they're overpriced all of them and I'm looking I'm like oh and there's a couple brand new games in there that I'm like, where did she get these from? Maybe she, she's buying them and then just getting them from like a clearance sale from some of the stores or something like that. Because it does look like that's what I'm seeing. And so I move on to the DS, 3DS. And nothing I really want. I'm looking, I'm checking. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff that I wouldn't want. So I said, okay, let me move to the other side. So I moved to the other side, and it is like GameStop. Like, she literally, like, takes in trade, or she gets stuff from GameStop. And she's charging more than what GameStop is charging for a lot of the systems. And a lot of the controllers, and a lot of the games, and there's there's Guitar Hero, the bundle. There is a whole bunch of controllers, Wii controllers. And I look to the side, and there's a Generations, the newer version, where they have the box that says 100 plus games. And I'm like, let me just keep going to the regular table. So I go outside to the regular tables. And I'm actually seeing a lot of people with stacks of games and DVDs. So I'm going through. And there's the normal, the sports titles. And I keep going. And I see that there is one game that I'm looking forward to getting. And it's Blowout. And unfortunately, it's a war game that I already have. So I move on. And there's a creepy clown <laughs> as I'm walking by. So I'm like, this dude's staring at me as I'm looking through the DVDs. So I'm like, let me just uh, move on. So I see in this one that there is Sonic Heroes. I'm like, oh, Sonic Heroes. So I look, somebody stole it. So I'm frustrated at that point. So I just slam it back in there. And I move on and I keep looking. And I mostly just see DVDs in this pile. So I keep looking, just checking the other sections to see if there's anything that I'm missing. And sure enough, I'm like, let me check these right here. And all they are is just a bunch of DVDs. So I move on to the other section in that table. And there's a couple minor Xbox 360 titles, PS2 titles in there. So I take a look. And yep, sure enough, ATV Off-Road Fury. So I was like, nah, I don't want that one. So I move on to another table, and this table has a ton, a ton of games. So I'm looking through the minor stuff, I'm looking through the minor stuff, and it looks like it's already been picked through, so I just leave that there for a second. And sure enough, I'm like, okay, so let me take a look. And there is nothing in that case, so I move that to the side. And there's a bunch of Xbox titles, so I take a look on there. And there is Zapper. So I'm going to check Zapper out because I did want it at one time and I don't mind paying if it's not a bad price for Zapper. So I take a look, I crack it open, there's no manual, which is okay. It's still the game and so having a little hard time getting it out of the case. And I see that it's cracked on the inside so I, I'm disappointed so I put it back. It's still okay, somebody might want it but I don't, I don't want cracked discs so I keep looking. And sure enough, I look to the side, and there is a couple of PC games. 
So whoever this person was had a, do a good, decent collection. And I keep looking, and there's PS2, so I look through there, and I see some nice titles. I see Spy Hunter, I see, you know, the usual Grand Theft Autos, and I keep looking. So I'm going to check out Spy Hunter 2. So I look at Spy Hunter 2, I'm debating because I don't want to pick up too many if, if they're going to charge me a lot. So I crack open, I'm having a hard time today getting the cases and games out. So I look, not too bad, a decent, decent disc. So I put that to the side on the bottom and then I take a look. And there is the first one, so I'd rather have the first one than the second one. So, yep, and this one has the instruction manual and everything, so I'm excited about that. So, I get that one out, which takes me a few minutes, and yes, it is good. It is a pristine condition, so I'm going to take that one for sure. So, move that to the side, and I keep looking, rugby, uh, ace command, ace combat, I mean, I'm sorry. Ace Combat, and I take a look, missing the instruction manual, I'm checking to see if the disc is okay, and a little bit of scratches, I don't want to take that one, so I put that back, it's not the first one, which is what I want, so I put that one back, and I'm looking through, and I see NCAA Game Breaker, and I like those games, I used to love playing them all the time. Instruction manuals in there. Let's check the disc and see if it's good. Yes, another good one. So I am going to definitely take that one. So I go to the guy. I'm asking the guy. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm asking the guy how much. And the lady chimes in. $2 a piece. I said, hell yeah, I'm taking those two. <laughs> so I keep looking. And no, nah, not MBL. Major League Baseball is not one of the ones I wanted. So I said, okay, I get those two. I'm super excited for that. So I have two good games. I only paid four bucks. And that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Bye.